<laughs> but bigger than <laughs> 48 <tickets>. million. <laughs> and a lot of people trying to make it rain. Mm -hmm. But you're looking outside right now at Charlotte's <laughs> South Park neighborhood over our Hyatt South Park camera, and no rain all right now. Yeah. So Mother yeah. Nature not making it rain just yet. No. Tara. Yeah. But that could change, okay. as we keep saying. I know, it's like uh, the same type of pattern every day. Yeah, but it happens. Bring the ponchos yeah. to Bank of America tonight. I would say so. Okay. Just get some sort of rain jacket, maybe just in case, because, mm -hmm. yeah, it is possible we could see that, that heavier shower, maybe a storm setting up over Bank of America Stadium. We are in the clear now, and for folks that are already and have been maybe since earlier on this morning, tailgating outside before the concert later on tonight and doing the same thing tomorrow. But we'll track those rain chances. Looking live there over our, from our exclusive Arlington camera, you can see how it's just it's beautiful. I mean, just some scattered kind of puffy cumulus clouds, fair weather clouds overhead and nothing really uh, rising in terms of, yeah, those those storms developing and those storms getting higher in the sky and growing so far yet. But we do still have some uh, heavier storms off to the south down through upstate South Carolina. This one now that's kind of uh, focused over Fort Mill. We've got some torrential rain there and heading down 77 Leslie and Rock Hill, seeing some of that, some occasional lightning and the rain is kind of breaking apart, letting up over Union County, but we have some scattered light to moderate showers anywhere from Polkton up through Stanley County, Albemarle, seeing a little bit of that rain just to the south of, say, the downtown area there. And zooming on up into the mountains in the foothills, so you head up Highway 181, moving out of Morganton up toward the Jonas Ridge area and encountering some heavy rain out there that's just been sitting there for a while. So most of these storms here so far kind of lining up along this stalled front, which is in the process of fading away, but still that chance of storms won't totally go away for the next couple of days. Backyard grilling forecast for this evening. Yes, the storm threat will continue, so just keep that in mind. You're outside on the back deck or the patio as temperatures remain warm, but by 8 o'clock, not too hot outside, not terribly hot. We're down to 79 degrees. That official high not coming in just yet, but yes, we did get up into the low 90s. A lot of neighborhoods earlier today, and we're still sitting at 91 degrees checking in the Queen City. There's that rain cooled 73 there in Monroe. We've got some 70s up in the mountains right at 80 degrees in Jefferson. And once you factor in the humidity, it feels that much hotter. Really not too bad in, in most spots. Not too much of a difference from the air temperature right now. A little bit hotter there in Shira, sitting at 96 degrees. So tomorrow, surface map doesn't really change a whole lot. We're just going to be in the hot and humid zone overall south of this warm front and all over the Southland and over the Carolinas and down through parts of the deep south. We'll get some scattered storms. If you have plans, maybe driving out toward Tennessee or Kentucky, that is going to be a little bit drier there the farther west you go. So just a few hit or miss storms possible through the weekend. 89 for that high tomorrow after starting out around 70 and then a hot 92 for Sunday afternoon. We check out futurecast. You can see how the storms blossom after tomorrow morning here and there and then everything kind of fades away. So Sunday morning back to some sunshine. Then we get those hit or miss storms developing from the mountains and down through the Piedmont and parts of the upstate going into the afternoon doing some yard work this weekend. I have really every day right through Tuesday in the fair zone because if you can get that in in the morning, do some mowing, that's going to be your best time again by the afternoon. Maybe not so great with that chance of storms in the forecast and hitting the lake this weekend. Warm water. Look at that water temperature. Last check at Lake Norman up into the upper 80s. Only about that 30% chance that you may have to bring it back in when you start to hear those rumbles of thunder with that chance of storm. That will continue to be in the forecast right through next week. The one thing that will change those temperatures getting even hotter by the middle of next week.